The next question says, in a market system, the allocation of scarce goods involves the consideration of what? And so this goes back to one of the fundamental principles of, of economics, and that is that everything is scarce. There's nothing in the world that is not scarce, right? And so that scarcity forces us to make choices. And the thing we really pay attention to those choices is weighing the benefits of a choice versus the costs. And economics introduces this idea of not just accounting costs, which are the money that you pay, but also opportunity costs, which is the cost of the foregone alternative. And that's really important because that's the main distinguishing factor between decision making in economics and in other fields. And so what we're looking for here is that the allocation of scarce goods involves consideration of opportunity costs. So let's take a look at the previous tutor's answer. In the previous tutor's answer, they said that in a market economy, the allocation of scarce goods involves the consideration of the opportunity cost of production associated with the given inputs of production. So I think they've taken a really uh, producer-oriented approach, which is good. The producer is probably the one who's deciding what to do with the allocation of their scarce resources. And so in that sense, you would be saying, what are the things that I could build with these resources? And when I choose to build one thing, what am I giving up the opportunity to build uh, in, the same, in the same place? So opportunity cost is defined as an economic concept which describes the benefits of the entities, including individuals, investors, and businesses. Hence, it represents the value of the available alternatives over another. For instance, in a free market economy, the utility of different factors of production in producing a product has an opportunity cost of those resources. We can just add that the opportunity cost of those resources is the next best thing they could have been used to build instead of the primary product. Um, that's just a quick clarification to give that example some more applicability, but um, there's no real correction to be made here other than that. So we're going to mark this as correct as well.